I am Jason Hoffman with the Santa Cruz Sentinel and we are out here at the tide pools at Natural Bridges State Beach and what we are doing is looking for sea stars and one thing you will not find out here that you usually can is sea stars and that's because they're suffering from a debilitating disease known as sea star wasting disease that is affecting the entire population up and down the west coast from Alaska to Southern California. It started showing up over the summer and it doesn't affect all creatures in the intertidal zone and it doesn't even affect all sea stars but it is getting into aquariums and researchers at Long Marine Lab are trying to figure out what's going on. This isn't unlike a regular Hollywood medical thriller right now. What these researchers are trying to do is to locate the point of origin of this disease. They believe that if they can locate the origin they can help identify the cause. This is something that it comes up from time to time among the sea star population, but they have never seen anything this widespread. This guy right down there is one of two, well actually one and a half that we've been able to locate. And he's not going to last much longer. You can see he's basically got parts of two limbs left. Um, what happens is these sea stars are developing lesions that lead to infection and necropsy and they're losing their limbs and within a matter of days they're essentially turning to goo. There is one more star that we've been able to find over here. Right there. But I don't know how much longer he's going to last. This is a contagious disease that scientists are still trying to figure out. 